Hi, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Fuentes, and welcome to Math Mini Lessons. And today's topic is going to be graphing inequalities on a number line. So we're gonna jump right in, and this is a great topic because it goes from sixth grade all the way to high school. So let's jump in. Uh, for this topic, you're gonna see me do three steps to be successful. One, I'm going to work with inequalities. I'm not an equation, but I'm going to have two expressions with an inequality in the middle, some type of symbol. I'm going to start by first isolating the variable. So I have x is greater than or x is less than, some type of number. Um, and I can use some of my skills from equations to help me out. Two, I'm going to try and conceptualize and think, what does this sentence mean? What solution, what does it mean? In real life so i can kind of figure out graphically what it's going to mean and then three i'm going to graph it using some simple steps um, using my concepts so we're going to jump right in and in this first problem i have 2x minus 5 is less than 3. so let's start by isolating that variable i'm going to just write it out and i want the x by itself on the left side since it's already there so i'm going to add 5 and i do that so i have a zero pair and let's start just figuring that out. So I have 2x, that's zero now, is less than eight. I want the x by itself, so let's divide by two. So x is less than four. Okay, so let's think conceptually. What does this mean? It means I can have any number as long as it's less than four. I want this to be true. So any number um, that satisfies that, that as long as it's less than four, can work and be true. So I'm gonna draw a number line and I want it to represent all numbers being less than four. So I'm gonna start by writing the number four and I'm gonna draw a little circle right over the four. I'm thinking to myself, can four be part of my solution? No, because it has to be less than four. Where do I see numbers that are less than four? I'm gonna see them on the left side. So I'm gonna put off my X on the left side and I want every single number to the left of that four. So I'm just going to squiggle it in and make an arrow. So I can see that x is less than four. So I can use any of those numbers. And that's what the concept means. I just want a true statement. Um, so three is less than four, that works because it's on that number line. 3,000 is less than four, and that's on that same number line, everything to the left of four. So I hope that makes sense, so we're gonna try a more complicated problem now. All right, what about three x plus two is less than or equal to five parentheses x minus four so let's do the same steps as before and this time i'm going to start by distributing because i want that x by itself but i have to simplify to write so i have 5x minus 20. so 3x plus 2 is less than or equal to um, 5x minus 20. Um, i really want my x to stay positive so i have to think i have to do some subtraction somewhere i'm either gonna subtract 3 or subtract 5. Um, because i want my x's to be positive i'm gonna choose to subtract three. In another video, I'll show you why with the negative, what that actually does. But for now, I just wanted to show how to graph. Um, so I'm gonna end up with two is less than or equal to two X minus 20. I'm gonna add 20 on both sides. And so I have 22 is less than or equal to two X. Divide by two, 11 is less than or equal to X. Contextualize, I want 11 to be less than x. It has to be smaller than x. So I'm just thinking about what that means. I want, um, that means my x has to be bigger than 11. So I'm just thinking about that. My x is smaller, I'm sorry, 11 is smaller, my x has to be bigger. And I also have that underlying sign. That's really just a combination of two symbols. It's an equal sign and a less than sign together. Um, so that means I can include the 11 in there. So let's start graphing. Um, I'm going to just draw a line, put 11. I'm going to put an open circle and think, can 11 be part of my solution? Yes, it can, because we just said it can be equal to 11. So I'm going to fill in that circle. That's all it means. I can include 11. And I want X to be bigger than 11. So if X is bigger, it has to be on the right side. So you can see how I just wrote that in. The X has to be on the right. So now I'm going to draw my arrow up and fill it in. So I want every single number that is bigger than 11. So you can see how my thinking helps me fill this out. In another video, I'll help out with the negative x's, but for now, I just hope the steps make sense to you. 
um so that's basically it i hope you found this video really useful as always i have videos on tuesdays and fridays but if there's a topic you would like to see um you can just email me at sarah at mathminilessons.org send me some topics or just engage in the comments and let me know what you want to see on the page and i'm more than happy to put that up in a future video uh we also have a facebook page now called math mini lessons so you can follow me there as well you can just subscribe there um and this week we will be doing our first facebook live so if you have topics or things you would like to see done in real time email me let me know and watch us on facebook live later this week it'll be hopefully 6 p.m tomorrow for the first time i'm really excited um i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you guys next time take care